guys, what's going on? We made it to Arches National Park. It's gonna be so much fun. Come along with me. Let's explore together. guys so today I am mainly here to see two arches I want to see the delicate arch of course and I want to see the landscape arch but we have a little bit of extra time and there is so much to see here especially in a lot of the stuff here you can see it from the car and there are very short hikes so we're gonna make some stops before we get to the two main ones that I want to see to get to the delicate arch it's gonna be a little over three miles I think I ran and to see the landscape arch it's about two miles so i think it's gonna be a total of five miles that i will be hiking today so let's start exploring then the forces of erosion are sculpting more than just arches here this is balanced rock and believe it or not this is 128 feet tall We are off to explore Windows Trail. This trail will take us to North and South Window and it's also very close to Turret Arch. everyone that climbing or walking on arches is prohibited. One thing I have to tell you about this place is that it is much more impressive in person. Photos and video don't do this place any justice. Very cool view, you can see both windows from here. If you follow me, you probably already know that I'm so into rock formations and arches and caves and all that stuff. So this is heaven for me. All right, so let's move on to the next one that is gonna be um, the delicate arch. Super excited to see that one. Not even a quarter into the hike, you will see this little house known as Wolf Ranch. And people actually lived here in the late 1800s. There you can see people. That's where we're going. The hike to get to Delicate Arch is rated moderate and you will gain about 626 feet of elevation. The distance, 3 miles round trip. Delicate Arch is an iconic Utah symbol. Have you seen this on license plates? The arch is actually bigger than what it looks in photos. It is 60 feet tall. And before you get any ideas, it is illegal to climb this arch. popular trail I've seen in the park so far. 
uh, the parking lot is full. There's a lot of people there. It was impossible to get a photo with somebody, you know, photo bombing, but it's okay. So we are uh, moving on to our next stop for today. Then that's going to be the last, the landscape arch. So let's go check it out. Almost two miles round trip. We got this. This is another family friendly, easy trail with spectacular views. I think it's safe to say that all the trails I've seen in this park are family friendly. And there it is, Landscape Arch. Back in 1991, a 73-foot slab of rock fell from underneath the thinnest section of Landscape Arch. Then in 1995, two more big rocks fell from the arch. The park was forced to close the trail that went under the arch. But for now, at least, Landscape Arch is still standing. Alright, so that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did exploring. And you know what? There's a lot more that I want to see, but it's going to have to be on my next visit. So if you liked my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's going to help me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet because I have more adventures coming up. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.